welcome back to the channel so I'm obviously out here driving I'm doing some van lifing we're just passing through Lytton now we're headed up into the South Chilcotin Mountains there's a ghost town up there that I would like to visit and do some van life camping at so that's the plan of attack for the day um, this trip was supposed to be a 4x4 overland trip, but I ran into issues when I wanted to install my uh, Journeys Off-Road MP233 transfer case swap kit. I needed, I learned I needed new drive shafts. I need drive shafts from the newer model. So I'm doing this trip as an all-wheel drive trip. It's not that big of a deal. We're still gonna go see some cool places. So we're going to continue on up this road to a ghost town. So I've already made a navigation error. So I'm headed back to Linton. So the town of Linton, village of Linton, is uh, Canada's hot spot as they call it. So earlier this year we had a major heat wave in BC here and Lytton was the hottest temperature ever recorded in Canada for three days in a row and then on the fourth day the whole town burned down. Uh, there was like a I guess a wildfire sparked in the town. I don't really know some people say it was sparked by the train I don't really know. I don't think anyone really knows yet. But yeah, the whole town was wiped out. Like 300 houses or something like that. And uh, it was just a crazy, crazy day, I guess, in Canadian climate history. But yeah, it wiped out the whole town. And it's that set off like what later turned out to be like an absolute crazy wildfire season all across BC. And even this trip has been affected by wildfires, kind of like deciding where I should and shouldn't go. And you can see some wildfire damage here. You can't see it that well, but uh, oh, here we go. That looks like at least one, maybe two houses that were burnt down there. These trees all have damage. I don't know what else we're going to see uh, moving through here, but I just wanted to acknowledge it. It uh, wasn't good, and uh, it still isn't good, but I hope they rebuild better than ever. Yeah, more wildfire damage on the trees. fenced off which makes me lead to believe these houses burnt down up there down cables that used to be the town center I guess all burnt no stopping all burned out just crazy. Convergence of two or three rivers. I should look that up before I talk. But it's a historically very important community. So yeah, I, again, I hope they rebuild better than ever. But 
but uh, anyways, back on the road, headed up towards the Lillooet and the Selchukotan Mountains. Checking and I got gas, so I'm just gonna keep pushing ahead. At some point, I'm gonna want to stop for lunch and just to take a break. But uh, hopefully, we'll get to gravel. I think the road's gravel. Uh, hopefully, we get to gravel and then I'll take a break and uh, eat some lunch. But uh, this is a long drive, so I just want to make some hay. Wicked Canyon here on my left. This is the road. I might uh, pull over and air down at some point. Air down just a little bit, make this a little smoother, but uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm not 100% sure this road doesn't turn back to pavement, but uh, we'll give it some time and we'll see. The van just broke down again and it is not in a good spot. I have no cell service. I am somewhere between Lillooet and Gold Bridge, BC. Under a fucking sketchy looking slope. It's not the worst looking slope, but this isn't a good situation. So it died, it was driving fine and then all of a sudden it just started like sputtering and it stopped. So I stopped where it stopped, obviously. I didn't have a choice. Um, and then I restarted it and it did start, but then it died right away again. So I don't really know. I don't really know what to say. I think I'm gonna let it sit for a minute and then try to restart it and I I guess I really I can't go I really don't want to go any further out of I don't want to go further away from civilization so I'm going to uh, yeah I'm just gonna see what happens but in the meantime I'm gonna fly my drone <laughs> make the best of a good make the best of a bad situation. update my situation uh, it's not really improved so I took the doghouse cover off everything got it all in there I took this my distributor cap off to see if it was going 
I kind of double checked to make sure everything looks like it's plugged in and everything looks like it's plugged in. I don't see any obvious signs of fuses being um, blown. Um, but I tested for spark. I made, I tested to see if there's spark coming off the coil plug and it doesn't seem to be spark. So I'm either having, I either have a bad coil, I either have a bad coil, um, which is kind of what I want to believe is I have a bad coil, but it could be further than that. And there's something that's not allowing it to uh, ignite and give spark but either way i'm kind of stranded here so there's been quite a few cars as you just seen one come past or heard um there's quite a few cars coming up and down so this road isn't that remote uh it just doesn't have cell service but and at least one of those cars was going down i talked to they're coming back up tomorrow and said worst case scenario we'll give you a ride back to town so i'm gonna have to be able to get a I'm almost certainly gonna be able to get a ride back to town in the morning. So I'm just gonna set up camp in the van here tonight. Some nice guy dragged me off the road from kind of up there to back here where I'm a lot more out of the way because uh, this is kind of a busy-ish busy, busy, busy -ish, ish road. So yeah, I had uh, to kill some time though. I'm gonna go for a bit of a walk. I think there's a little pull off up there. So I'm just going to walk there, smoke a joint, and uh, yeah, that's really all I can do. Here's my little pull off. That's where I was thinking it might be a decent spot to sit, ponder life. But uh, now that I'm here, I don't think I'm going to have a view. Now we just have the long process of killing time. These are going to be ghost pepper chips for the ghost town. Now they're just chips because this is life now. Well, okay, good morning. So my situation is van still dead. Obviously it didn't magically get better, but I have everything I need to go to town and spend a bunch of time there. Because if I go to town, when I go to town, I don't really know how long I'm gonna be there for. It might be a long time before I can get a tow truck. I really have no idea. So anyways, I'm just prepared for everything. So I'm just gonna finish packing this up. I packed the lunch, I got three sandwiches, six cliff bars. I can realistically, I can spend the night there in town if I have to. Um, I don't really wanna sleep there, obviously, but uh, if I have to, I have to. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna pack that into my backpack and uh, hitch a ride. Quite a few people have come by and the last guy that came, honestly, I kinda wish I was prepared to go he was really nice. He gave me the phone number of a couple tow truck companies and a mechanic nearby that may or may not 
be able to fit me in. But anyways, I kind of want to phone BCA, see what they'll do for me, and uh, go from there. But anyways, I'm just going to pack up, hitchhike, get to town, get rescued. <laughs> Hitchhike to town. I'm now sitting here on this bench, just killing, just killing time. Uh, it's been an hour and a half since I've been in town, and I'm just waiting on a tow truck. BCA said they'd be in an hour and a half, and that was one hour ago. So closing in on time. There's a Lord Co right here. <clears throat> so I picked up a new ignition coil. Hoping that maybe we'll fix my problem, but uh, we'll have to see. But, you know, it's a nice Tim Hortons, liquor store, Fields, Bilo Foods. It's pretty much the town of Lillooet. It's their mall, so I'm just chilling here until the tow truck driver gets here. Take me back up and probably tow, but maybe I'll get it started. Who knows? But uh, just feeling dejected and sad sitting on this bench. Try not to look, un just try not to look terrible. I look pretty miserable. It's life. So at this point, BCAA showed up. They picked me up out front of Tim Hortons there. Obviously the ignition coil I bought did not work. So we loaded it up. Guy drove me to the vehicle, drove me home. About six hours, hanging out with a complete stranger in a tow truck. But anyways, shout out to BCA, shout out to you, shout out to me. Next episode, I'm getting this thing fixed, back on the road, and hopefully this will never happen again.